Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can read the mission pad. Now, one of the first things you need to be aware of is the mission pad has an encoded number in it that the drone can read. The mission pad also needs to be orientated the way at which the rocket ship is pointing. So that gives you an idea of the direction. So what we need to do is place the drone on top of the mission pad. And before we can do anything, we need to start talking to the drone. So after we've imported Tello, we need to put start bracket bracket. This will allow us to start talking to the drone. Now you can't read the mission pad while the drone is sitting on top of it. In other words, land it. So we need to actually take off. This will allow the drone to get up in the air. And if we take off while starting on top of the, the mission pad, we should be directly above it, which will allow it to read it. There's a two little sensors underneath the drone. If you have a look underneath the underbelly, you'll see these little dots, which look like infrared LEDs that can actually read the mission pad. So once we get up in the air, we can then use a command called get mission pad. Now get mission pad will actually read the number. But if you want to see what the number is, we need to store that somewhere. So we can get the mission pad and let's put it into mission pad number. So this is the name of the variable and it'll actually put the integer, the mission pad number into this variable. Then what we want to do is display that to the user. So we need to use print and use some brackets, so bracket and then quotes. And then we're going to put the mission pad number is and put a colon and a space. And then what we're going to do, we're going to add the mission pad number. Now, remember that what's inside of here gets returned as a number. So mission pad number is an is a numerical number, an integer, see here, integer. And this is a string. So because we want to add a number and a string together, we've got to typecast this. So we've got to go str and turn that integer into a string. And then I'll add the integer as a string to the existing string. And once we've done that, we want to tell it to land. So it's a pretty simple program. Let's take off or start, take off get the mission pad, show us the mission pad, and then land. So let's start that program and see how we went. We should see down the bottom the number come up. Hear the drones in the air. The mission pad number is two, and it lands. Well done. Now, if I turn the mission pad over, it will actually have a different number. So I've just turned the mission pad over and I'm just going to run my code once more. And the number is six. So I know that I'm taking off from one number and then if I turn it over, it can land on another. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. You should be able to use this little code snippet here and put it in your main program so you can build a bigger and better application. Remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and give it a thumbs up to keep the channel moving.